you're out there, you're riding, you're having a good time and uh, taking in the, the outdoors. The fight isn't over. The fight is just beginning. What's going on guys? This is Carl with the Racing Red Channel. So, I didn't record that whole thing. I hate it when I do that. So I've been getting more and more inquiries about my trails and locations. A lot of you guys want coordinates and things like that. And in order to keep from betraying the trust of those I'm with who are showing me these trails, I'm not going to um, share the coordinates on a lot of stuff. And, and it's not only that, but the Idaho Fish and Game, BLM, and a lot of environmental groups are now following my channel. And a lot of this stuff, they're posing as writers to get me to um, give up a lot of locations. So I have to be really careful these days. And it's just for everybody's best interest in the sport for me to not share that stuff anymore. And I realize that you Patreon supporters, um, a lot of you are paying for that service. And um, for you guys, I... Uh, I will definitely recommend not being a Patreon supporter anymore if that's the reason that you're there because I'm not going to um, show trails besides the ones that are uh, well-traveled. Here's the first guy. We'll see if the group can make it down this. Yeah, baby. Yeah, buddy. Dude. It's a slip and slide now. Dude, that wind. Oh, my God. It was crap, It was dude. so hard to stay in that single track. Yeah. I was, it kept like, blowing me to the... I'd go to stand up. Yeah. It just take me over. There. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's some of the hardest wind I've been in. Especially if you have to stay in a single track that is like divoted yeah, like that. Divoted because once you get cross threaded, you're screwed. Yep. I kind of did that on the edge of that mountain, and I kind of whipped out on the snow. Did the wind blow you over? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, lean to the right. I know. <laughs> Make it about turn around and go back and ride the other Now we're good. All right. I didn't even see it. This isn't as icy as it was last time. So anyways guys, I hope you don't take it personal that I'm not sharing the trails anymore. I've gotten a lot of questions about it. Some of them I just don't answer. And others I answer, but I just say, hey, I can't share that location with you for whatever reason. I hope that's, it's not meant to be personal. It's been a real problem um, with trail closures recently and I think it's definitely important to bring this to light. I just breathed in all of that all of that sagebrush. Oh my god. But anyways, Moab's five miles of hill trail. Um, it is one of the most popular trails in the U.S. Located on Slick Rock, most of it, and desolate desert that you can't harm at all. <laughs> and uh, anyways, it's recently been targeted, and a closure, a, a uh, permanent closure might be imminent. So I'm going to head to Five Miles of Hell and try to try to ride it if it's still open. But a lot of these environmental groups, they don't care about what makes sense. Or, you know, they're, they're not going to follow logic. A lot of it's just pure hatred for anything with wheels.
a lot of the drones now have really good sensors so that it can like stop you before you hit it but this one it'll run right into branches and then you have to use your gun to shoot it down yeah then you have to shoot it down what else is there to do <laughs> i went way back in there and i had <clears throat> what did i have i had a slingshot with a bunch of fishing line with a big old weight on there i was going to shoot that up into the tree and I couldn't see it the whole day. I knew which tree it was in, but I couldn't see it. And then right before I left, I spotted the propeller hanging out. And I had no time. There's no way I was going to get to it because it was the tallest tree in the forest. I mean, it was huge. So I ended up pulling my handgun out and just shooting. And I went straight through the camera and through the body of the drone and out the back and blew everything apart. The only thing that was still good on it was the SD card. So I got all the footage. 